Hello everyone, this is Jay Dobbins on the Marvel DC Multiverse, and we are now at episode 424, and I'll be discussing one topic, which is rumor, Warner Brothers has, snowed, has sold the Snyderverse to Netflix. So, um, I'm still considering, considering, sorry, I'm still considering this rumor, um, take this with a grain of salt, um, but it has been confirmed by our movie news on YouTube. Well, three YouTubers have confirmed it. Um, our movie news, their channel confirmed it. Um, comic book uh, two cast, um, they confirmed it. And of course, Tyrone Magnus, a world uh, a professional YouTuber, has confirmed it as well. So, three YouTube channels have confirmed it, but the problem is, why isn't it blowing up the internet? That's one thing I don't understand. It says it's been confirmed, but I'm, I'm Googling it, and it's not, you know, blowing up the internet. You know, people.com's not talking about it, entertainment.com's not talking about it, Hollywood Reporter, was it? E news, um, Yahoo News, and who else? Uh, what was it comicbookresources.com? They haven't, uh, they, they're not talking about it. Um, I think, uh, Insider Magic, I think they confirmed, I think they were talking about it along with, uh, there was another website. Uh, I think it was like Fandom or something like that. But yeah, so far they confirmed it. But the thing is, the you know the main entertainment, even the Chicago Sun, the L.A. Times, New York Times, they're not even talking about it. So you're kind of wondering, you know, like, what's going on. So. That's why I'm taking it with a grain of salt, and that's why I myself haven't even confirmed it. Because, you know, it's a rumor. You know, it's, it's I mean, that's, that's how I look at it. You know. I mean, would I like, I mean, I would like to, you know, see um, Man of Steel 2, you know, and definitely Black Adam versus Superman. I would definitely love to see that. You know, and that's if it's confirmed, but it's kind of hard to tell nowadays because, uh, you know, because, you know, these other websites just aren't really confirmed, but, um, so yeah, I said May 30th. Was it Snyder did a, uh, you know, May 30th, this past May, um, May 30th, of course, S Zack Snyder himself addressed the possibility of Warner Brothers selling the Snyderverse to Netflix. And then, could, then of course, uh, you got Den of Geek, you know, they, uh, you know, they're talking about it, but then, of course, you yeah, have Warner Brothers Discovery, you know, they, uh, I'm trying to think, I mean, that's the only thing that's been confirmed, though, is that Snyder, you know, Zack Snyder was talking about selling it, about, you know, Warner Discovery selling the um, Snyder versus Netflix, so that way, you know, you could, uh, you, you, you can continue on with the DCEU on Netflix, yeah. So yeah, you can um, you know continue with the DCU on Netflix, and you can also watch the DCU. You know, you can I can look forward to that as well. You know, and it's a win-win. Therefore, James Gunn can you know get gain support from Snyderverse fans because he's definitely going to need those in order to. Um, in order for his, you know, DCU to um, 
succeed and thrive just like uh Kevin you know Kevin Feige's MCU so with that being said you know there's no guarantees that um the DCU will be successful since you know since James Gunn just pretty much just scrapped everything you know and decided to start from scratch and of course that pissed off a lot of Zack Snyder fans and they're like you know they're not having it so you know just and you know, just like I said if if the rumors are true then good but uh if not then you know it sucks but you know we are uh, James Gunn is going to have a problem And that's all it is to it. But uh best thing we can do is hope, you know. So I'm just trying to figure out I'm still trying to you know, I'm still trying to figure out like why you know three YouTube uh channels confirmed it, <clears throat> but yeah, it's not blowing up the internet because I'm a, I guarantee you if the rumors were true, it would it would have made headlines for sure. So that's why I'm just kind of wondering, like, you know, why, you know? Because now everybody's just spreading rumors now, and that's what's you know angering me because I'm just like, you know, is it true or is it not true? You know, don't don't just spread these rumors just to, you know, get attention. Because I don't spread rumors. I just talk about the rumors. So that's why I'm just kind of, you know, wondering, you know, like, hey, how are we going to, I mean, for now on, I think we should just confirm stuff. Instead of just, you know, I think the way I look at it is that they were just doing it to gain attention, you know. But I don't know what goes on behind closed doors. So, we just want, you know, I just, you know, I mean, I would love to see Henry Cavill, you know, actually in the, in the you know, in the, um, Red cape again, you know? And after the post credit scenes of Black Adam, you know, we were all, everybody was looking forward to a Superman versus Black Adam. But, you know, it was just too much crap that went down. But that's the only way, you know, that's the only way everyone can reprise their roles. You know, I'm not sure about Ezra Miller's Flash, but, you know, and maybe Ray Fisher might return as Cyborg. You know, he might have his own movie. Later on, and you might have a Justice League 2 and 3. Then Wonder Woman, she might have her Wonder Woman 3. and You know, you never know. And of course, she might have an Aquaman trilogy. So I'm guessing, you know, and maybe, maybe uh, Ben Affleck, you know, I wouldn't say Ben Affleck's Batman, but, you know, someone else who can replace Ben Affleck as Batman, you know, can have their own movie. Because he went from, oh, I don't, I don't want to be Batman to, oh, I'm back as Batman. And that just confused the crap out of people, you know out of me, you know, it was just, you know, it's, I mean, it just, I ain't gonna lie, you know, Warner, Warner Brothers and slash DC, the DCU was just a complete mess, you know, but not, you know, it's just, you know, now, you know, if, but if Black Adam had made a billion dollars, James Gunn probably would have kept Henry Cavill. And kept the DCU intact, but just change like the storyline, you know. Same, you know, kept keep the cast, but change the storyline. And the Flash movie would help with that, you know. Create a new timeline. Therefore, whatever Zack Snyder did was undone. I mean, it's pretty much undone anyway with the Flash movie. But um, I was, Henry Cavill, I think Henry, Henry, I heard Henry Cavill was in the Flash movie. You know, it's a little cameo. So. That's what I heard, but we won't know until we see the movie, so. 
But uh, we will definitely see, you know. Because I would, you know, I would love to see that, you know. But um, everybody's kind of wondering, like, hey, you know, who's going to be Superman, in the, in, you know, the new Superman, since we don't have Henry Cavill. So, still makes me mad to this very day. You know, but, you know, what can you do? So, um, best thing we can do <clears throat> is hope that, uh, the rumors are true. But, um, that's all, you know, that's all we can do is hope. But I ain't gonna lie, it is kind of confusing, though. You know, three you know three YouTubers confirmed that, oh, the Snyderverse has been sold to, you know, Netflix. Then all, all of a sudden, it's not blowing up the internet. You know, nobody's talking about it. Not even, even, not even, even entertainment news reporters are talking about it. So you kind of wonder, like, you know, what the heck is going on, you know? But, if, you know, but if it's true, then, you know, it's a win-win on both sides. Snyderverse fans, and, of course, the, you know, actual DC fans, so... But yeah, I can sm you know, I could see a, uh, you know, a Black Adam versus a Superman. Or you know, would love to see that. Uh, I'm not, you know, and of course, Man of Steel two and then three, and then of course Wonder Woman trilogy, and then an Aquaman trilogy later on, and then of course Cyborg can get his own movie, and you know, you could recast as a Miller's Flash and have the trilogy. So. And the, but, you know, the Flash movie can help reset everything anyway, in the DCU or in the DCU. Because James Gunn didn't want certain things in the movie, so it doesn't mess up what he's trying to do, you know. But, uh... Oh, another thing, too. Forbes.com was talking about Warner, you know, Warner Brothers Discovery selling... Uh, the DCU to Netflix, so obviously it's it was in talks, obviously, but you know they did not confirm it. So, um, you know, the best thing we can do is hope, you know, because I still want to see Henry Cavill Superman, and I still want to see you know Henry, you know Dwayne Johnson as the you know as Black Adam. And as far as the Shazam, uh, I don't know. They kind of dropped the ball on that one, but the first one was better. So, all we can do is hope. So that concludes this, uh, this concludes this topic. Feel free to visit us and like us on Instagram. Um, we are available on iTunes, Google Play Music App, Spotify, and of course, YouTube.